If you're new to this channel and this is going to be the very first video that you're going to watch, what you can expect is an in-depth look about a certain part of Northern Philippines that nobody really shows on YouTube. This video actually wasn't supposed to be released to the public. It's a video I made for my father to give him like a current snapshot of what his hometown is like. And also one of the main reasons why I didn't really want to release it is it's a video of I couldn't help but think about my community. You guys are awesome and you know the comments, the likes, the views, even though they're not a lot, I realized that you guys support me and I can't help but thank you. You guys should be able to see this video. Secondly, in like one of the most important parts of this this little talk that we're having, I wanted to say that I've kind of strayed off from doing videos that I like to do for the past couple months because, you know, there is a way to make successful YouTube videos and it's true. You have to make good videos and the intros have to be cracking now because the algorithm has changed. However, it's kind of taken me away from like making videos that I like to make. And I realized that this channel specifically, all like my videos for a certain reason. That's because, you, you know, I don't know, actually, I don't know why you guys like my videos, but for some reason you guys do. And I don't think I'm doing you guys any justice by trying to follow a certain pattern. No, I'm not saying that I'm not going to do that, but I don't think I'm going to do it for this channel. So am I starting a separate channel? Yes, but I'm not going to make any more empty promises like I've done in the past couple of years. And what I can guarantee you is this channel specifically, it's going to go back to what I like to do. And that's just vlogging and just documenting my experience here in the Philippines. One of the craziest and most fulfilling things I've ever done in my entire life. And I just want to thank you guys for following along with little old me. Uh, here's a video that I wasn't supposed to release to you guys. It's really just for a few eyes, but I think that if you've been watching my videos from the very beginning you'll you'll enjoy this what's up dad we are on the way to mexico to lay your brother's remains to his final resting place do a little home tour a little city tour and then of course um we'll check out your mom and dad where they're laid to rest as well and hopefully you get a grasp of how everything is currently in the now mexico pampanga in 2023 See you there. The main road that your house is on. I don't know the name of it, but this is it. So to the right is the church. I don't know if this is the same church from when you were a kid, but it's here. And then to the left, about a quarter mile down the way, is your house. exactly where we're at. We're crossing over the little footbridge. Also, I don't know if that was here when you were a kid, but they're, we're crossing over a little bridge. Here's a little dry ass pond. Okay, so we're here. I'll do a couple panoramic shots of in front of your house, 
uh, neighbors across and kind of just all the houses that are near you just kind of see how everything is developed or maybe not been developed. One of the main reasons why I didn't really want to release it is our family laying his brother who passed away a few years ago to his final resting place here in Pampanga, Philippines. So we're at the cemetery now. We are gonna lay your brother to rest and also we'll get to pay a visit to your mom and dad. We're here at the cemetery. So we were able to actually walk to the cemetery from your old house. I didn't realize how close it was, so if you ever do come here and you wanted to visit um, your brother, your mom and dad, it's just walking distance. So um, it took about five minutes max. Really, really close. So that was the ceremony. Uh, as you can see, we put him where his final resting place is, and now we're going to leave the cemetery. I actually got to meet some of your cousins and um, nephews and stuff. It's pretty cool. I spoke Tagalog to them. And now we are on the way back to your old house.
Hey Dad, so we're upstairs. It's really humid up here, it's hot. I'm gonna just get every angle of your old house. Doesn't seem like much has changed. Uh, there's not much up here anymore except for some wires to hang clothes and dry them out. I can see why they did that, because it's, it's hot, it's hot here, Dad. Yeah, so a little house tour of how things are, as or how they are as of now. Head back downstairs. of the house was an add-on or was it here when you were here but this is where they do most of their cooking for the business that they have uh, last time I was here they were doing all the cooking I think I showed you they got all their this is like a secondary dirty kitchen and then I'll bring you to where they actually sell everything actually first let me show you where they roast the chickens right here So behind me, if you can still hear me, sorry about the audio, is where Uncle sells all of his chickens daily. I think it's from like 5 to 9 p.m. I've had it, it's delicious. He makes a proper chicken. It's really good, that's all. <laughs> this is the business. So I'm here in the kitchen where they're preparing some topo de baboy, some nihao na tilapia, nihao na bamos, and chicharron bulakla. They're open for service in about 30 minutes. So they're doing all the prep right now. Oh, a grill. Grill, oh, so yes. nihao. 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 And then over here, tokwa? Tokwa baboy. Tokwa baboy. Oh, in Paburito. And then fried tilapia? Yes. Uh, no, uh, grill. Oh, and nihao as well. Where do you grill? There. Uh, oh, over there, okay. For good salarito, for good. Among uh, one to two years. Uh, do I say si or ni? Si? Pinsan ni? Pinsan ko. Nya. Nya. Pinsan nya. Uh, asawa ko. Nang asawa. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, I am in your backyard. Uh, there are a lot of vegetables here. Papaya, pechai, sweet potato, eggplant, it's everything. By the way, they destroyed the 100-year-old bathroom, it's gone. But um, it looks like your backyard ends right there. And then, if you go beyond this wall, there's more. There's more. 
but I don't know if that's your land or not. Oh, there's bananas too. There's bananas. Anato, sabuyas, bananas, pechai, sweet potato, eggplant, banana again, and moringa. Chilies, right over there. I'm just gonna bring some pechai home. Uncle is harvesting them right now. Hey, one month and a half. One month and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is there a lot of like um, pests or no? Do you have to use any pesticide? Be by. Uh, but you use something yeah. to keep the bugs away. Oh, okay. That's no. Uh, bok English. Choy. Uh, yeah, bok choy. Bok choy. Bok choy. Yeah. All right, Dad. That concludes your home tour of Mexico, Bombanda. Kind of cool to be Mexican. Just kidding. That was. Just dad joke but anyways just a little video for you to uh, kind of update you on how things look and feel here this is a now mexico pump on hey if you made it this far you probably won't mind sticking around for a little bit longer the first thing is another shout out to my my subscribers my family my friends the strangers like you guys are dope. I really appreciate you just following along with me and please excuse the repetitiveness, but I just, I had, I was thinking about you guys this whole week because the, the support you guys give me, it, it really means a lot because I enjoy doing this and you guys are cool. So to get a little bit specific, shout out to the Hanford family, shout out to my folks in Northern California. And for some reason, according to the statistics, I have viewers in Ireland, Southern California, and I guess in India. I don't know if, if that's real, but whoever you guys are, I appreciate you. To my second and last point for this video, if you ever have any thoughts about coming to the Philippines, I highly suggest you, you come. And if you have any doubts, uh, those doubts will only become one of the best experiences you'll ever have in your entire life because there are so many layers to this country. And I know that not everybody will be able to spend this amount of time in the Philippines. But even with that being said, like this video specifically points out that there's so much more to this place than Palawan, El Nido, Cebu. Even though those places are dope, like super dope, one of the best places in the world, like spending a day where your mom's from, your dad's from, your uncle's from, like just the barrio will give you so much more perspective into your own life. Because sometimes we tend to overcomplicate things when they shouldn't be. And stepping into a place like Mexico or Lubao makes you realize that life is amazing. Next week, stay tuned. I'm going to go to Lubao and I'm going to do an in-depth video once again to kind of showcase where my mom's from. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I love you guys. Peace.